Uh, Miss Chiori? <sighs> Your talk with the investor sure went fast. The Aquabus hasn't even arrived yet. Oh? And who are they? Ah, uh, uh, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Pleased to meet you. Likewise! We've heard the owner of Chiori Ya Boutique is a skilled seamstress, so it's a real pleasure to finally meet you in person. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure she wouldn't always look like a cat that had been unceremoniously dropped in a bucket of paint. So tell me, what happened? I can tell the conversation didn't go quite as expected. Ah, well, it's like this. Ugh. I know, I know, Chiori, you don't have to say it. You did remind me that this investor was a little bit sketchy. Yes, there's no doubt about that. But how could I pass it up? <laughs> he offered me twice as much as the others. And therein lies the problem. Yes, but just put yourself in my shoes. After obtaining such an excellent script, it's only natural that I would want to make the most of the film. The budgets that the others had proposed were nowhere near enough. It's difficult to find someone willing to front such a large amount of Mora, so... Don't be sad, Xavier. We might be able to help scrounge up some more together for you. Oh, thank you, Paimon. That means a lot to me. But the cost of the film is staggering. I'm afraid that any Mora we can scrounge together in a short amount of time won't even be able to cover the actor's fees. We need to move on. What's happened has already happened, and there's no changing it. But now's not the time to give up. What? You're saying that you have a plan? No, that's not what I mean. I'm simply saying I wouldn't give up just yet. The actors I recommended aren't just after Mora after all. Really? Then where do you live? We Malazines live in Mary Sea Village. The only way to enter is from underwater. Oh, you must be pretty tired after work every day, right? I mean, you have to swim all that way just to go home. You're so thoughtful. But some Malazines choose to live in the Court of Fontaine because it's so much more convenient. This is our stop. Oh, we've arrived, but I haven't even finished chatting with Abel yet. I also enjoyed Abel's introductions to Fontaine along the way. Everything you described was so clear and detailed that we can't help but want to hear more. 
Thank you so much. I'm usually working here on this aqua bus, so I hope I'll have the chance to see you again. There are still many more places I'd like to introduce to you. <laughs> Welcome to the Court of Fontaine. <sighs> Chiori, you sure have changed a lot. This is the first time we've seen you since you left Inazuma. I haven't realized it's been so long. I was in such a rush when I left that I didn't even get to say goodbye. Thank you for extending the invitation, Mr. Xavier. I'm looking forward to a fruitful trip here in Fontaine. Oh, it's an honor to have the head of the Kamisato clan visit us. So they are who you meant when you said you had actors coming from Inazuma? Oh? It's the Traveler and Paimon! Wow, what a coincidence! Ayaka and I were just talking about you on the way here! Are you also here for the film? We just ran into Xavier earlier and came over with him. <laughs> but I'm not an actress. Sir Kamisato and Lady Ayaka are the real actors here. I'm just tagging along with Ayaka to have a good time together. Uh, about that. I mean, how was I supposed to contact you when I was making preparations for the film? I figured you were probably busy and I didn't want to disturb you. So I could only keep you in the back of my mind while I sought other actors to play the lead roles in the film. <laughs> I had been thinking about a surprise reunion with you during our trip here. But you still managed to surprise me first. Oh, so you all know each other already! <laughs> My, what a coincidence! What are the chances everyone could be brought together here like this? Why don't we go to Hotel de Boer and catch up over a meal? I've already made a reservation! Huh? Did you reserve two spots for us, too? Yes, of course, of course. I'll be sure to tell the boss to serve a few more delicious dishes just to make sure there'll be enough food. Very well. Then please, kindly lead the way, Mr. Xavier. Wow! Buildings in Fontaine are so tall. Just look at how big they are. And there's the fountain that Aval mentioned earlier. It really is a magnificent sight. And look at that huge spinning sphere. Where does it get its power? <gasps> Wait a sec. Could it be one of those clockwork mecha we've heard so much about? 